wanted to um, show you really quickly how to send a document to your client to sign in zip forms. Really easy. If you already have a file folder, you can click on that. But if not, we need to make one. So we're going to click on new. We're going to tell if it's a listing or a purchase. I'm going to say it's a listing. And you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it 123 Hot Street. This is your name. If you want to name it by the street address or the property owner's name, whatever you want to name it is fine. You're going to tell it if it's residential or um, industrial, whatever it is. And then you're going to click save. Okay. You can fill out anything on this page, but if you don't want to, you can click on documents. And today I'm going to just send in information about brokerage services. So I'm going to click on all forms. Please remember if I go too fast in the video, you can always watch it and pause it and then go to your screen and, and do it there. And then come back and watch the next step. Hit play, watch and pause. Okay. We're going to click on all forms and we're going to find the form that we want. With information about brokerage services, there are two of them. So if we hover over, we can see that this one says it's for buyer or tenant. In this case, I chose a listing. So I'm going to choose the seller landlord. You click on it and it populates it out here. If I wanted to add more documents, I could click the X and start typing the next one and do the same thing until I have all of the forms that I want. This time, I just want to send the information about brokerage services. I'm going to close that window and I'm going to click on the form that I added. This is a form and it is fillable. So I would fill in all of the, the boxes. For quickness of time, I'm not going to fill them all in. But once I have decided I am done with this form, I'm going to click the save button. If I'm just sending this one file, I can click e-sign. Okay. I want to make sure that I have DocuSign here. The other ones work, but they are different steps. Um, I would choose DocuSign. And then we're going to click next. I'm going to decide who needs to sign. I have not added seller one, so I could click in the seller one spot and put Jane, the last name, I can say Joe, and in the email I could say testing at testing.com. Okay. Now I want to check the box and say that I want Jane Doe to sign. If I needed to sign as well, I could check the box here. But on an IBS, I do not. Once I have everybody added here that needs to sign, I can click close. Please make sure, unless you know what this does, that signing order right here is not checked. And then we can click next. It's now going to load into DocuSign. It may ask you to log in. It does not always. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll down and see. On most of the forms, it will put the client's information or their place to sign for you, but make sure it does, because some of the forms it doesn't and you'll have to drag and drop. Let's pretend this one's not there. If I needed to make sure that Jane Doe got to sign, I could drag the initial over and drop it where I wanted it to go. I could resize like this. And if I wanted the date signed, I could drag and drop it there. It's already there, obviously, but I wanted to make sure. If I realize that I've forgotten a field here, I can grab text 
and I could add the license number. Okay. Now, as you can see, Jane Doe is yellow. If I had a John Doe and had added him to sign, he would be here. Each person is signed a different color. So I could click on that and bring um, them over and it would likely be blue. Okay. All right. So this field right here, if I tell it read only, then it won't come up as a fillable field that they're able to change. Okay. And then I click send. The buyer or seller that you're sending this to is going to get an email and it'll step them through the signing process. After that, you will get an email with a, a link to go into the signed document where you can download it or print it. That's how to use zip forms with the form. Thanks. Have a good day.